Today, we're diving into some of the wildest heists in history, moments when thieves pulled off massive crimes that feel like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. From art thefts to bank robberies, these are stories that'll blow your mind. Let's get started. One, the Great Train Robbery, 1963. What happened? In 1963, a gang of 15 men hijacked a Royal Mail train in England. They managed to stop the train in the middle of nowhere and stole 2.6 million pounds, which is worth around 50 million pounds today. How did they do it? They tampered with the signals to stop the train and used just basic tools like a metal bar and hammers to open the money-filled bags. Did they get caught? Yes, but not all at once. Some members of the gang were eventually caught, but others escaped and lived the rest of their lives in hiding. Two, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist, 1990. What happened? Two thieves disguised as police officers broke into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. They stole 13 pieces of art worth $500 million, including masterpieces by Vermeer and Rembrandt. How did they do it? They fooled the guards by pretending to be cops investigating a disturbance. Once inside, they tied up the guards and spent 81 minutes leisurely taking the art. Did they get caught? The crazy part is they've never been caught and the stolen paintings are still missing to this day. Three, the Banco Central burglary, 2005. What happened? In 2005, thieves dug a 256-foot tunnel into the vault of the Banco Central in Fortaleza, Brazil. They stole $70 million worth of Brazilian currency. How did they do it? They spent three months digging a tunnel from a house they rented near the bank. The tunnel was professionally built and had lights and air conditioning. Did they get caught? Some of the thieves were arrested, but much of the money was never recovered, and the mastermind is still unknown. 4. The Antwerp Diamond Heist, 2003 What happened? In 2003, a group of thieves managed to break into one of the most secure vaults in the world, located in the Antwerp World Diamond Center. They stole $100 million worth of diamonds, gold, and other jewels. How did they do it? This was a super high-tech heist. The vault had 10 layers of security, including motion detectors, magnetic fields, and a lock with 100 million combinations. But the thieves disabled all the alarms and walked away without setting anything off. Did they get caught? One of the gang members was caught, but most of the diamonds were never recovered, and the mystery of how they bypassed such intense security still puzzles experts. Five, the Brinks Mat Robbery, 1983. What happened? In 1983, a group of thieves broke into a warehouse near London's Heathrow Airport, expecting to steal cash. Instead, they found 26 million pounds worth of gold bars, diamonds, and cash, one of the largest heists in British history. How did they do it? The gang had inside information from a security guard working at the warehouse, which made the robbery much easier for them. Did they get caught? Several members were caught and jailed, but the gold was smelted down, making it nearly impossible to recover. So there you have it, five of the biggest heists in history. Some of these criminals got away with it for years, while others ended up in jail. Either way, these stories are proof that real life can sometimes be crazier than the movies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which heist surprised you the most. Thanks for watching.